Okay, so in this lesson, lesson 10, I'm going to show you about logic gates. Now, as part of the national curriculum, you need to be able to understand the different gates that exist. So, for example, if I just go back to this document here, you will see that you need to understand Boolean logic such as AND, OR, AND, NOT. Um, and if you refer to the PowerPoint, which will be linked into the, the YouTube video at the bottom, uh, it should help you understand what logic gates are. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is just how to use a NOT gate. So, if I create a script, uh, we're going to make it blank, and I'm going to call this logic gate tutorial. Now, I'll try and publish this afterwards so you can find the example. So, I'm going to create that, and there we go, there's our program. Now, we want some variables to compare to begin with, so I'm just going to add these in. So I add v, I'm going to go to number, variable 1, add another one in, which is also going to be a number in this case, variable 2. Uh, I might as well add in some others for later, so uh, number, variable, Obviously, you'd name these properly. And uh, number of variable four. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so if we go to our main program. We're going to need to allocate these numbers. So if I go to data variable one assignment, I'm going to assign that one. Add the next one in. Variable two. I'm also going to assign one data variable free assign free and data variable four I'm going to assign free as well so now we can actually do some of the main programming now a not operator returns true when the condition is false okay otherwise it's false so what I'm going to do now is show you if Okay, and we're going to use a not. Open up our brackets, and what I'm going to do is compare variable 1 to variable 2. So I've got my variable 1, I want to compare it to variable 2. So if variable 1 is equal to variable 2, Alright, so if they're not equal, then we're going to show false here, okay? So let's show you that. False. Okay. And post it to the wall. Otherwise, we're going to show true and post that to the wall. So watch now. We know that one and 2 are both 1 and it says if they're not equal show false otherwise show true watch right so they're true which is correct so now it's saying if they're not equal then show false well I can change this by just simply adding a 2 there so watch this I'm going to run my script and it says it's false okay so if they are not equal it's going to show false and that's a simple not gate and the PowerPoint attached will help you understand it more. Now the next gate that I'm going to explain is called an AND. Now this operator returns true if both conditions are false. So I've got here variable 1 and 2, but I'm also going to have another one. So watch. Get rid of this NOT. And I'm going to put an AND in there, and we're going to compare variable 3 and 4 as well. So variable 3 equal code variable 4 All right so if that is equal or that is equal then this time it's true okay first of all and this one would be false this time so this code, this time, using an AND gate, says if 1 
is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4, then show true. Now at the moment, it's false. There we go, false. This is because 1 and 2 aren't equal. So what I can do is change those. And now if I run it, you can see that it's showing me true. And I could easily change that to 2 and show you it working there as well. And it's changed it to false. Now these are useful to have in parts of your program. Maybe you're comparing passwords, maybe you're comparing schools so that you can add them to a scoreboard. But they're very useful to use and it's called Boolean logic. Now I showed you a not, an and, but you can also create something called an or gate. And the or gate, the or operator, returns true when either condition is true. Alright, so watch. So if I change this and to an or, this basically says these two can be the same or these two can be the same. So if I, so for example, I've got variable 1 and 2 the same here, so that should show true. There we go. I could have these two completely different, these, and these two variables the same. And now when I run it, it shows true. And it's not necessarily using equal to here, you can use any operator. So say for example, uh, I know variable 2 is less than uh, one, so I could say if I could use a different operator here, I could get rid of that equal and actually say less than. So variable one is less than two, or those are equal. At the moment, it's true. All right. So I'm going to change that to a three, and both of those conditions are now false. So what I can do is switch these numbers around so that it makes it true, so either condition can be true, there we go. So that's just a simple lesson on logic gates, if you refer to the PowerPoint it should help you understand them even better. I uh, hope that's been useful and that you are able to apply that in making some kind of program of your own.